Route 62. It's also coming during the peak travel time. Well, well, that's what, yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear us. You're talking about peak travel time in summer. Oh, right. I'm sure somebody will let me know. Right. Hello? Hey. They're back. That's what we're doing. That's what he's doing. All right, so the sound is on. Who did I train today? All the pokies and five other ones. Today was really good. Today was one of those days that. 98% of the dogs made progress today. Uh, two that shined a lot was Neko and Wrinkle. Um, shined pretty good today out and about. Margaret worked a good portion of the day, and Denise worked a good portion of the day. So we had four people working dogs today, for different levels, different situations. So it was a it was a good day. And I gotta thank um, Betsy. S Boy, I need glasses. Betsy Sparks from Nevada sent me a funny little cartoon with some guy holding his hand up telling dinosaurs to wait. So they've tracked back this theory all the way back to the dinosaurs, I guess. So that will go on the Hall of Shame. Um, on the Charlie Team Charlie page, who's Charlie paying respects to? That's a monument um, flagpole with a metal cutout. If you look in the background there, um, it's a site in the town of Westbrook where I live that has um, all the members of uh, Westbrook uh, who have died in wars. Uh, so we, we go there and visit some of the old timers, uh, play cribbage and stuff like that. So we usually take a walk around and. Charlie likes to sit out there in the sun. Team Charlie has like 758 followers now. I would have never believed it. I went into to uh, Sports Authority today, and I thought it was bad last Sunday. They were literally carrying out kayaks, the last two remaining kayaks, and they are down to about four little aisles of junk, really, stuff that's uh, waiting to go. They, they won't be open much longer, I can assure you that. Mariah is intact, and she is available for breeding. Um, that's just a call that they make up above me. If they need her, want her, she's there. If not, she'll be in Maine. One of the most interesting things that we um, that is out of the norm, of us teaching, is when we know somebody is going to be in a wheelchair or predicting a wheelchair down the road. Um, that's when we really take a look at the dog, and we can tell by when we're working with them, if they're going to be a good wheelchair. they got to be a good muscle dog to be able to pull the chair, you know when to stop, when to slow, downhill, slowing back, waiting, versus going uphill with a wheel, pulling a wheelchair uphill. They've got to be able to really have the muscles in the front and the back to, to handle it. We usually identify some of those fairly early, that if we run across the need for a wheelchair dog, uh, we'll work with them on that. And in that case, we 
actually take a wheelchair out with us and we have had some pretty good pictures of Megan in a wheelchair being pulled around. Carlene does it as well. No. You're good. You guys are good. No, no, no. I was just saying that sometimes you help with the wheelchair training too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I had a good time today. Yes. You want to hear about today? Sure. I went down through Costco at 90 miles an hour. I really did. Didn't I? I don't think I could. Just show the video of her going in. Yeah, yeah. Home checks. We do do home checks occasionally. Um, it all comes down to the dog has to be taken care of, and we need to make sure that the dog is in a safe and comfortable spot to do its job. That's really the bottom line. Uh, our main concern is that the dog is going to have a productive life as a working dog and a life after working. Uh, and so, you know, if, if you tell us that there's a, you know, you live in a real dinky apartment and, you know, we got to make sure that that's going to work for the dog as well as the recipient. It's just not fair to uh, set ourselves up for failure. I don't think Team Charlie is available for non-Facebook folks because it's a Facebook page. Um, but if you put in there Team Charlie, you'll see a picture of Charlie. And um, it'll have a big letter T. Charlie doesn't have an Instagram account only because I, I find it very hard to even keep up with the Facebook page because there's so much other stuff going on. Um, and I've committed myself this summer to doing more writing on Team Charlie's page. I'm going to mix a little of what happens here with him versus, I mean, as well as some of the stuff that goes on uh, back at home. That's good. Julia and, and uh, Ethel are in an RV, traveling around, and they're updating on their page. Um, it seems to be a trend now that most everybody that's getting a dog, you know, as a recipient getting a service dog, they're starting their own page so people can kind of track them, see how they're doing, uh, especially a lot of the volunteers here and the staff, because we've worked with them for a year or so. Uh, we, you know, try to keep up on everything, but. We're so busy that um, a lot of times it comes down to when you finally get time at night when you sit down in front of the computer and uh, go on your Facebook and you start checking out their pages just to see how things are going. And I will see everybody Sunday I'll be back. Today is my Friday. And I will be back Sunday. And I will be doing trainer talk, I believe, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday next week. And there's, I did see boxes, oh, packages or something. Some boxes somewhere that Carlene's got going on. So we shall see all you next week. Carlene, you are up. Alright, okay, here's the other one. Oh, great. Yeah, you know, that'll have to change it for punch. Here we go. Bye, folks. Bye. If you find Steve, send him. The other guy. He disappeared to go change his clothes somewhere. Okay, so I'm here. What am I supposed to do? I'm not doing that. Oh, shoot. Save. Yes, I did that. Have we got?
I don't have Steve. Where's Steve? Where's my sidekick? I don't have a sidekick. That's going to be painful. Well, I'd start without him, damn it. Where's the whiteboard? You know I got whiteboard? the whiteboard, I'm coming. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got the Ooh. thing. Saved by the bell. Okay. We can sit there with. <laughs> I'm going to just take, I'm going to scroll a little over here. It, it would probably fit right between those guys. Oh. You might. You can. I don't okay. want to bite you. Okay. How you It's okay. Still got the brace. I'm good. Good? Okay. A couple weeks, I should be good. Good. Unless you do something else, it should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Okay. Applying. Four. Ah! There he is! For crying out loud, we tried to wait. We did. <laughs> I feel shame. Okay. Give me a chair. Um, Oh my word. Okay. Here's the person who needs a dog. He's six foot eight. Yes, and his wife is five two. <laughs> How did you know that? Because I talked to him on the phone. Oh, okay. So you knew all about it then, right? You. Okay. Every once in a while we get a big dog. I don't know where they come from. I really don't. Well, probably yes, but uh. Quite dog with a girl dog, but it's dumb dog. Um, <laughs> I took pictures at a wedding once like that. The, the guy he had to be like six five or six seven, and she was about like five feet. Like, okay, I don't know. Maybe the geometry works. Out. Anyway, well, it doesn't with Walter. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> the problem we. I have. wasn't gonna go there, but okay. All righty. Who's doing what? You're taking these. I didn't look at these. Oh, oh this is to Gretchen. Uh-oh. Oh, great. I didn't write the right oh, word. Oh, great. I didn't do the right thing? Yeah, well... Dear sweet nice Gretchen, time. I'm sorry about your bloat. I have bloat, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, the only solution for me is to sew up my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a little something to help with the vet bill. Hope to see you at Dog Fest. Nancy Walters, Cody out of New York. Thank you, Nancy. Where's the bank? Nancy, Nancy Lou of Stitches duct, duct tape works pretty good too, and then you know it, you can That's also use it as funny. an air remover if you need it. You That's know. pretty funny. I have the same problem actually. But <coughs> here we go. We're off and running. With Harold and Wanda. Harold and Wanda. Woo! Yeah. I just need that. We've been two years ago. I can't remember that long. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm not far behind Charlie. We had, we had fun there. Right? Yeah, we're in Chile. Um, um, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. we had, it, was yeah. it was memorable, but they didn't say why. Well, they didn't say it was good. They just said they didn't remember that. I, I forgot you mean Glenn, okay. This is Shirts. Darren is me, Hawaii. Again. <laughs> this is Shirts. This is ridiculous. This is. Looks like a bill. It is a bill. It is a bill. I don't know. I don't know how on earth we managed to, to buy fifty medium-sized shirts. What we did. Who uh, placed the order? That's not a good thing. Ouch, right. Well, it'll just last for a while. Rod Kenny. Put most in America, huh? You said something or other. You know when the book comes out. I hope you enjoy it. Huh. Apparently somebody's sending me a book. Put loose in America. Oh, do I? Oh, is, that is that the donkey, that, the the mule that went through? Yes, that's the mule that yeah. went. Through. He went from coast to coast, and he was down here in Ipswich. Two and a half here in Did you see him when he was there? Yes, I did. Oh, good. 
So we have to pay attention to get that book. Oh, that's awesome. Would you, would you make sure that happens? She's in charge of remembering things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's the water bill. We don't need that anyway. That's the drinking water bill. And here we have Steve Moore. Pawns for Purple Hearts. Why did he send one to us? Um, he's looking for money. He's got the wrong one. We all are looking for... Yep, there's the envelope. Is that any something that is? Oh, you made your boots on again. Huh? You made your boots on I'm again. wearing my boots again. I stand up better. I don't slouch right so much. In case you kicks me and move on. <laughs> he, he worries a lot. Well, you know. Yeah, I don't you know. The, the thing I'm reading is that I'm happy that Steve sh shared his story. I don't know that. I don't think that's our Steve, though. It's the trainer Steve. I don't think it's fair to see. Yeah. I'm so grateful that Steve volunteered to share his story. I was just curious whether, here, do that to those people and see whether, it, maybe that's the letter. <laughs> he writes well. Steve he writes, does. He does. He, does he writes very well. I know. I read some of Let me grab that. You, you grab that one. Okay. No, it's Steve Moore. <coughs> That's not Steve's last name, is it? No. What is this, Steve who? This is Steve Moore. This is not Steve, our no. trainer. He's no. got another name. Here. Probably, yeah. Well, this is Steve's looking for money. Yeah. Put that someplace else. He's going to look for our own bunch of money. Okay. And this is kind of an interesting thing that gets thrown away. We already helping all the ones we can help. This is kind of an interesting thing. I don't know how we got signed up for this, but this is find a bee. And the only reason I know what's in here is because we got seven of these envelopes today. And it's a little packet of seeds for bees. So bees will make honey and plant corn and things or whatever they do. Now, the problem's going to be, my friend Bentley's not going to like it if we play them in the front door. Oh, well, no. No, it would be very bad. No, we don't like it. Very bad. So we got to find, we got to have seven packets of these things. Where the hell are we going to plant them? In the know? neighbor's yard. Neighbor's <laughs> yard. <laughs> on, the, on the island. Oh, that's on a little island. Yeah, there's plenty of bees out there. I can attest to that. Can you? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I got the attack out there last year. Okay, so this is, this is for Grace. And I opened the others already, so here they all are. And can we make sure that Grace gets them? Because Grace is our planter of strange things. Important note, never go near a bee's nest with a weed whacker. That's a bad thing. Yeah, it, it wasn't great. No, it wasn't. Cowboy boots are kind of useful and stuff like that, though. Why? <laughs> I mean, I, no, I really, I really want to know why. Well, you can tuck your pants inside of them and then you're covered. Yeah, but what does that do for the rest of you? Oh, well, at least you don't leave your face show. You, you lay down the ground, put your feet up in the air, and just <laughs> hope they don't come. Right, here we have something from Fulgen. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, the thing one is just reminding us, it, it was sad. Morley Safer died today. Yes, and he just retired last week, I think. Oh! Well, yeah. That happened. Yeah. 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 I got scared. Online there was a thing about Betty White showing her absolutely flat down and saying that she'd go, she was no longer... And I think they were saying she was no longer going to be on television, but the way they put it there, it looked for sure like... Yeah, I know. Well, they did. Huh. And I couldn't see where she actually died. It's just, okay, what have we got here in the post? <laughs> but it's got stitching. It's made into something. Let's see what it's made into. Oh, it's in store. Yeah? Oh, it's nice and soft. Huh. It's made in China. 
whatever it says, it's all in Chinese or something. Oh, is that soft? You're not gonna read it? Oh, is that soft? You wanna feel it? Here, feel. Ready? That is, it's like... That is. That's almost as soft as the baby foal, but not quite. Did you feel that baby when, oh, she, yeah, was first, when she was first born? That donkey baby was softer than that. It feels like a combination of fleece and nuclear waste to me. <laughs> China? Oh, yeah. yeah. No boxes? That's it. Oh. I didn't see any more down there. This is a This is Fulgen. Yeah, this is Fulgen. You can throw that down the cellar stairs. I have to tell her. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, well, she just is. threw it down the stairs and then someone tripped See? on it later. Yeah. Wouldn't you feel terrible? See how she figured that out? <laughs> because I told her. <laughs> you missed. <laughs> sorry, I missed with washcloths. I mean, little tiny things. And this thing this big, I still miss. That, that laundry shoe that saved us was great the best. best. Um... Well, Dear Dale Mama, I got my seed package from Feed a Bee today. Yay. Yeah. Cool. And I ordered nine items from the same place mailed separately. Strange. Well, we got two or, th two or three of them yesterday, didn't we? Yes. I don't know it wasn't here. At least. We got a huge box yesterday. Yeah. There was a lot yesterday. <coughs> um, Barb Heist wants to know where her bark box is already delivered this month. Yeah. They were. Two of them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they're already eating. And Mew says yes, might have been yesterday. So they were answering each other. Right? That, that was the one that had the nice the sunflower stuffy in it yep. and the scarecrow. Yep. Um, Molly's mom wants to know, did George get his purple bathrobe yet? <laughs> it's like a three student thing. Was, it was over there. Oh, was like, yeah. It must have gone to George. All right. We will find out. <laughs> I, know, we will. I, have, I haven't heard from him. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Oh, we need some questions. We need some comments. Let's go. Linda said she'd get up and dance in a minute if no one... <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> you must be talking about Linda Gallo, who's not here. Sorry, Linda Gallo, but it's not going to be me, so it could be you. <laughs> I'll dance with you. How's that? Oh, dear. Last night in dance lessons. That's last thing you got in trouble with her. I don't know. Oh, that's right. You have so to ask Bailey. Yeah, she, she attacked me when I tried to dance with her only. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Hello, mother, hello, father. Hello, mother, 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 hello, father. Here I am at Camp Granada. The old camp is entertaining. They <laughs> say we'll have some fun at this stuff training. Yep. I went hiking with Joe Spivey. He developed poison ivy. You remember Leonard Skinner. He got po told me poisoning last night after dinner. Mm. <laughs> God, okay. No, I don't want. It goes this on. should scare you. But my roommate has malaria. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it goes wow. on. Take me home, oh mother fada, take okay. me Okay, did you know that your wife <laughs> Are you trying to stop me? Yes. <laughs> did you know that your wife visited the Easton Fire Station yeah, today she with told me. Yeah, I just got a text from her a few minutes ago, actually. She, she took a Marilyn, cake. our friend Marilyn. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, we did George Sam. Yeah, the person that greeted you was a little curious. <laughs> What's this for? Get the bomb sniffing dog over here. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, oh, I have news. Yes. I have news. I had blood work on yesterday. My A1C is down six tenths. Oh. I've lost three pounds. Wow. I'm having cake tonight. <laughs> That's right. I'm having cake tonight. The cake is pretty good. Are you having cake? That's good. I'm having cake tonight. I don't know if we're having supper. Are we having supper? What the hell for supper tonight? Cake. <laughs> I'm having cake. Yes, we totally forgot about supper. <laughs> we have sandwiches out there. Last I know. Are they still there? I haven't looked. I don't know either. I don't know. There you go, cake. Okay. <coughs> cake. Of course, next question. What's for supper? <laughs> cake. Okay. Um, so, I, I have another aside. 
So you know the place you get Chinese food? Yeah. Well, the people who murdered the owner are going to court today. You're oh, really? After it happened a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. two years yes. ago, yeah. So they're going to court today, and the, and the family was going to read their statements oh, to wow. the judge wow. today. That's good. Yes. That's right. The one two years ago, that's the one you recommended. Yeah, it is. I was part of that, by the way. Yeah. yeah. No, the guy got bludgeoned. This is what? Do you remember when? A couple years ago. Majestic Dragon, if anybody wants to look it up when he got killed. Oh. Majestic Dragon. It, it was, was really sad. sad. The, the local rumor and stuff was that, that he had a nasty habit of counting money at the, on Tuesday nights or something before he deposited. I don't know. There was something about counting money at the bar. And somehow he bought the farm. I don't know. I don't know whether it's gambling. I don't know. <coughs> Someone said they, they, he was locked in, but they came in through the air vents yeah. through the roof. I have no idea how they got there. Allegedly. This is all allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah really I do know it's closed for a day and a half. <laughs> no, it was a little more than a day and a half. This is a fairly safe community. Yeah. People don't have to go We don't. Not everybody has 65 great days. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, we've got, yeah, we've got about 50, uh, you know, alarms here. <laughs> people, I get called all the time. People want to sell me an alarm system. You know, hey, you really. say, hold on for a minute. <laughs> no, I've got one. Thank you. Um, when does Gretchen get her staples out? Oh, the staples. We didn't take them out yet. No, they've got to stay a little bit longer. She's on a staple diet for now. Staple. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> it is bad. There, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scene I remember. Yeah. Who are the visitors? Uh, yeah, other way. <laughs> go ahead. I'm Glenn. Karen. Uh, Sharon. I don't think they can see you. Can you do the camera? I don't know. They're from oh. Northern Virginia. Thank you. Which would be opposite of Southern Virginia? Absolutely opposite. Yep. You, right you wouldn't you believe how opposite. <laughs> Just it's like deja vu. We never went through it. What's the next shield? The shield yeah. just come in. Uh, so yeah. So you guys are. Hello, mother. Right Hello, father. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Oh, they saw Glenn. You lean forward, you can. There's yeah, yeah. She's got an earworm now. She's got the song in her head. Well, okay. let me see. I can move it just a hair. Oh, wait, wait, wait. She's going to move the camera. Just lean a forward. hair. Lean forward. <laughs> wait. There you go. You're, you're on. There you go. <laughs> you're on. <laughs> okay. Okay. You got it. <coughs> okay. And, and Glenn and Sharon are going to dance in a couple of minutes. <laughs> You're right. I'm really working this, yeah. I'm going to try to push away cha cha. Oh, Jimmy Bradshaw. Here's, here's our friend. <laughs> you take dance lessons? Yeah. That's cool. What did you do? Take dancing lessons. Oh, God. Yeah. You too? We are. Both. Well, uh, I would hope it would be something. I might have to know. borrow some of those steel tone things back because <laughs> poor, poor Debbie. You know. George, George <laughs> makes dancing. Does he? He's yeah. really into it. Really? And the whole bit about keep your shoulders up and this whole, you know, the ballroom, dancing. ballroom dancing. I got reprimanded for, for well, for rocking for one thing, and then for also dropping my arm down too. Yeah, low. apparently you got to keep the frame. Keep the frame. Yeah. Keep, you have to keep the frame. And look through the window. <laughs> you don't look at your partner, you look through the window. Which to me defeats the whole damn purpose of right. dancing with someone. Right. I want to look, you know? I mean, really. But, anyways. <laughs> George has gotten into it semi seriously. Really? He gets all dressed up but oh, no, really? formally and all that stuff. Maybe we just get him some purple dancing shoes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 no, he needs, he needs purple shower slippers. Don't you step on my purple suede shoes, Jacob. <laughs> Go. Purple Let's shower go. slippers, okay. All right. <coughs> Sharon Lord, New Jersey. In, on an old Carson show, Carl Reiner was on with a good story. He was a drill sergeant in the yard. I remember this be and because otherwise he'd be bored. He was a drill sergeant because he would be bored if he wasn't. To help with that, he taught his men to march pacing. They would get funny looks. One day, a superior stopped the march and asked them to, to have them march, then stop. He couldn't figure out what was happening, so he told Carl his hat was on crooked and walked away. 
Okay, we'll have to see if we can find that one after this. I don't remember that one. I, 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 watched I, I think Carson. I do remember that. I think I do remember that. Okay. I have an awful lot of the Johnny Carson VHSs around. Oh, do you? I think I have a... Yeah, well, we can find it online, I'm sure. <coughs> You know who I thought should have taken his place? Ellen DeGeneres. She's got that same quiet quit. humor. Do anything, you know. Not slapstick, yeah, but, was but she, boy... But was she, she in contention? I mean, I don't no, know. I don't think so. But I she was already Oh, yeah, she is now. She's like, you know, sorry, but she's like, you know, old she's... Yeah, yeah. She's very good. She really good at it. I right. thought she was good at it because she's got that same casual. She gets she gets people over her. Yeah. Nice. And the good thing is, she might have been on the show. She was, you know. And right. remember, right. they they right. film right. it during yeah. the daytime. Yeah. So yeah. you 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 I'd have be to stay up. And you can never if she almost ran you over. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres almost ran you over. Did you hear that story? No. She was. They were filming a movie down in Rockport. Yeah. And the script called for a dog to be sound asleep in the gutter in the place where she usually parked her car. Yeah. The, whatever she was, whatever character she was. And so I had the dog down there lying in the gutter, the dirty, not groomed uh, golden retriever. And I was right next to it, within six inches from it. Of course, the camera line is here, so they got just the dog. And I'm just going, stay there, stay there, stay there. And she's pulling in her car, great thing, and she's mad because every, the dog is in the way, so it slams on the brakes and kind of skids to a stop. And that's what we were supposed to do. And everybody knew that. But the whole animal rights people were across the street. Oh, jeez. And they were bullshit. That the dog might get run over if she miscalculated. If she miscalculated, I was going to get hit, too. <laughs> <laughs> nobody cared. <did that. laughs> nobody cared. I was going to get hit by that car just as fast as the other one. Anyway. Did you meet it. her? Oh, yeah. yeah. I met a lot of people. The problem was I didn't know who they were. <laughs> so, yeah, I, you know, I mean, I could have I could have lunch with them, and they would, you know, we just talk about stuff because I, I didn't know who the hell I was talking to. <coughs> I did know, I did know Robin Williams, but I I didn't know Jack Nicholson. Really? No, I'm sorry. Wow. Who's in Lloyd Bridges? How could you not love Lloyd Bridges? Bridges? I didn't know he was. What's this? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Lloyd and yeah. the yeah. and the and the Jeff Bridges is the other guy. Jeff well, he has his son. Right. And, yeah. and Bo Bridges. Bo Bridges and Jeff Bridges. Right. I don't know. No, yeah. Lloyd Bridges. Lloyd and yeah. Jeff. So Jeff was, was he? Was he Jeff? He would have been a little kid at that point. I mean, no, no, no. He was firing a gun, and I was underneath the bathtub. Was this for a movie? This was for a movie. Was it was it, was it, was it, was it Hearts of the West? Oh. No, Blown Away. Blown Away. Blown Away. Oh, Blown Goldie Away. Blown Away. Okay. Yes. Blown away. No. There was a terrorist. Mm -hmm. The other one was, oh, was it, oh, I'm thinking about the one where the other person was a family general. I think it's going to be general. No, it had to be filmed in Boston right. for me to have it. Yeah, it was, it was an Irish. Which one did you Yeah, one was a, uh, one was a cop. I think that was uh, And what was the name of the movie? Oh, well, I, well, I did that one. So yeah, you didn't know who Tommy Lee Jones was either? Well, Who no. Oh. Fugitive? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. oh, fugitive? The doctor? The fugitive doctor? Yeah, the doctor. Oh, really? This is the one Harrison Ford played. Not the one that was. Yeah, not the original one. I mean, Tommy Lee Jones played the other one. He was a marshal. Right. Yeah. He went to Harvard. No, no, no. No. Habit. Habit. Thank you. I have a friend, my friend Tony came here once. I'm sure you remember. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's an older guy. He's an older guy. He's a musician. He used to be a musician <laughs> ages ago. And he was in a bar in New York once and, and sat down and was talking to this guy at the bar. And all these people were, who he was with were kind of looking at him like, and so after a while, it was like 45 minutes or something, we walked back to the table and they're like, do you know who that was? I was like, no. He said, it was Elton John. Oh, wow. He was sitting there talking to Elton John. He's like, who's Elton John? You know, these, are these, are, these are just regular people though doing a job. <coughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, but I mean, if you, that's the thing, is if you, if you could go, if, let's, like for instance, what, who's the one that said she's not going to be able to, she's not going to be Jennifer Lawrence. 
she said she won't take any more pictures with right because of the guy got very upset that you know she she didn't want to lose she didn't want to stop eating dinner or whatever she was doing to take a picture of that so she was mm -hmm. super upset so no but if you know if you, if you didn't really know where people were and you could just have a conversation with them like that, <coughs> Yeah. Yeah, just they they always have good meals at these places. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the big movies have they have about five stainless steel trailers that pull in and you have good food. Well, they don't want you going anywhere else. Um no, they set up good barbecue and steak. You know, that's interesting because they're filming the the uh bombing Mark Wahlberg is doing the Boston Marathon and they're filming right down the street from my house yeah. and they do, they have like trailers oh, oh, yeah. for the food. Is this near Boston? Yeah, I live right outside of Boston. Yeah. They, they oh. film uh, a scene of that in a bar in, in, in Easton. Yeah. And the, uh, the new Ghost of Busters, the Ghost of Busters, I can talk. <laughs> the Ghost Busters movie that's coming out, they filmed across the street from where we live in the park at a castle in the park. And um, they had all, all the stuff oh, over uh, the production of a movie is, is it's horrendous. I mean, even a, even a small commercial, 30 second commercial, they're not 30 seconds anymore, who am I kidding? But um, you could have 100 cars. I mean, um, we've done them around here. We, we, did, we did one here on the property. Um, Unsolved Mysteries? Oh, there were a lot of those around here. <laughs> Was it about gold? <laughs> no. <laughs> They, did un they, wanted, they wanted a cabin in the woods, <coughs> and I don't know why, but the cabin, they, they covered the whole driveway with dirt, so it was a dirt road going past the guest house, so that was their cabin, their exterior shots that they needed, and the other, there were two other shots, one of them was my bathroom, <laughs> I don't know why that was so important, I, I don't know whether, oh the fireplace was probably the other thing, so the fireplace. But to produce that, there must have been 50 cars in here. How did they find you to come to this property to film? Because I've, I provided animals. Oh, okay. Animals. Animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and in the process of providing animals, I got to know all these people, particularly the scouts, the ones that look for certain things. And I have spent hours driving around looking for things like a single tree in the middle of a field. Or the one that I found that everybody was thrilled with was corn next to the road where there's no sidewalk and there's no overhead light wires. And that's up at Danvers Animal Hospital. Oh, so it's it's a uh, Danvers Movie or something. Mental Hospital. Oh, really? Yeah. That's probably a horror movie or something. Yeah. No. No. Oh, no, it's crazy. Right. A, a barn with an east side, east facing big door so that the sun in the morning would come through it and they could film <laughs> the dentist. You know, I need a. And they do things like, they did, were doing things like flying over Hamilton, uh, the biggest states in that area, uh, in helicopters. And then they'd, they'd find one that they wanted to go and look at or see interiors or whatever. And then they get a hold of me because I know some of those people over there. Hmm. And that, that, that's how it was done. Interesting. We used to use the winter quite a bit. Really? So around here, I mean, this place is I mean, in, in demand. Well, they, for a while there, whoever was, gov I don't know the taxing bit, for a while there, it was a very good place for people to film. Uh, and that lasted for a while. And then we got into the bit with, with the chickens in Harvard Square. What the hell was that one? Chickens in Harvard Square. They had to film, they had to film the exterior. They had to film all the exterior of Harvard, because there is no real. Get up in the bed. Oh no, I'm good. I'm going to put this in front of the camera. They had to film all the exterior of Harvard because there is no substitute for it, so they did that. But they filmed all the interior stuff in Toronto because the taxes were better and they didn't have so much trouble with the Teamsters. Yep. Who was that? I didn't even get to see you that much. I was sitting back here being a nurse. Oh, okay. I, I had to have, I had to have a rooster carried in a cage. Who was a hand? That was a rooster carried in a cage. Got a 50-50 shot there. 
I know, but they had to have two backup roosters. This gets complicated. Okay. <laughs> They're not listening because it's very critical. <laughs> it's a very critical story here. They wanted a for, the, for this movie I can't remember. They wanted a rooster for a guy to carry through Harvard Square in a cage. And they wanted two backup roosters. Okay? Now we're three roosters for that. And they didn't know what breed they wanted. They wanted a choice of five. Now we're talking 15 roosters that I had to have all quorum tested or whatever the hell because they weren't shooting the interior shots in Harvard. They were going to shoot them in Toronto. So these roosters, whichever one they picked, were all going to have to be shipped <coughs> internationally. And it became a, a big, you know, I had to have them all vet certified and all that sort of nonsense. And they finally picked one particular breed and they took it. So I had, but that's 12 leftover roosters coming back from Boston, so I stopped at all the horse worms, the horse people I knew, all the way back to Boston, I dropped one in each. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long time ago, I'm sure they're all dead. <laughs> but they were gorgeous. The you people. try and find that many roosters. There are probably not 15 roosters in New England. People don't allow them. Yeah, because of the noise. Yeah, noise. Yeah, you've got right on your piece of paper. You can't have roosters. You can have chicken, hens, but you can't have roosters. <coughs> yeah, it was not a... What, what is the rooster? I mean, obviously, you, you want little chickens. Baby chicken. You right. put a boy chicken and a girl chicken. Right. You right. Have to have, you have to have but you get eggs without boy chickens. Right, so you can, but you can eat eggs. Eggs are fine. Yep. Both of them. You don't know what it is. Um, so anyway, that's my chicken story. This is a nice dog. I think we ought to keep her for house dog. She's very pretty. Be very big. Thank you, Nurse Grace. What's your age here? Since you're talking entertainment, can I have a, ask a question? Certainly. Yes. Why did Good Morning America and Ron Reagan Jr. come here? Did they just do a... That was Good was Morning the, America. Yeah. That was a story about me when I was just doing commercials. Oh, okay. And stuff. And Ron Reagan Jr. Oh, yeah. was here. Um, and I was driving the eight donkeys. This is only four. I had eight like that. Um, and we, wh what I did with him was to drive up the driveway. He was driving. I he was practicing driving. So he was on YouTube and have to drive. But um, anyway, he was holding all the lines, and, and we drove all the way up the driveway. And they filmed us going through. And, hmm. You want the rest of that story? Sure. Oh my. <laughs> Do we have a place where I can like sprawl out here? Or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 okay. okay. I have only, I, I have had very, very few bad deaths. <coughs> and one of them is Republican National Committee. When Ronald Reagan was running, they wanted a couple horses down at Samuel Hall for when his he arrived, there could be a woo, you know. And so I had two horses down there, and it was $150. It wasn't much, you know, a couple of kids on the horses. And uh, the, the GOP never paid it. So, my, well I, the, the way I wanted to end that stint with, with Ronald Jr. was to have him add in the $10 bill. <laughs> <laughs> the producer thought that was a little tacky. <laughs> but it would have been funny. It would have been hilarious. Ron, you know, he was not necessarily... He didn't have his father's viewpoint on Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> no, Gretchen, 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 come here. Gretchen! Come on, babe. <coughs> All right. Have you heard from the TT folks regarding your canvas cover? No, I have not. Okay, I'm moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Tumblr? Right there. Um, <coughs> That's not Tumblr. Oh, I'm sorry. Tumblr's That's on the Gretchen. back deck. Tumblr's on the back deck. Back there. Okay. Um, Oreo Betty, do we need any bread, pierogies, or whoopie pies? Oh, no. Skip the bread. Good, uh, sure. <laughs> I had a good report from the doctor yesterday. Thanks, Betty. <laughs> Whoopie pies. All right. All right. Yes. Um, Trixie Lou, I received, I received feed a bee seeds. Say that three times fast. Received yep. feed a bee seeds. Yeah. Re okay. Re never mind. It. Okay. Um, two this week. Posted them for you. You should get them Saturday or Monday. Um, Jane Slade and Steve, don't give up your day job. <laughs> you gotta remember that, Jane. <laughs> that was good, Jane. <laughs> she doesn't hear everything, but she heard that, though. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm watching you. Too. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> all right. Uh, this, all right. Is, this is death. 100%. No, 98%. What's that? She heard you giggle. <laughs> uh, I've, I've lost my place. I'm not surprised. Um, okay, here we are. Um, wow. Airedale mumble. Well, Steve's singing brings new meaning to dinner and a show. There you go. See? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Lord, look at that. There's no accounting for taste. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't say I could sing good. He never <laughs> said no, that. No, I don't know anybody. Never that. said that. <laughs> no, you know you really can keep the correct beat. Like people just send you stuff and I you get tempo. it immediately. I have tempo. That's what yeah. I just don't have a voice. There's a, there's a problem. You there. should sing with your name. She doesn't sing well at all. Really? She just has no idea. Well, then maybe we should do a duet sometime. There you go. Scare the hell out of everybody. Oh, I owe you a dog. <coughs> um, okay. Um, 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 there's, there's a whole lot of things here that seem to run together, and I don't know where they start. So, um, 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 there's a whole discussion here about di diabetes. Try dill pickles; it helps lower your your blood numbers. Really? So, so does green tea. So does a whole bunch of things that I take. Except chocolate cake. Okay. Well, it has to be balanced off sometimes. The chocolate cake is the balance. And no bread. Is that your No, 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 car well, carbs sometimes with cake. But I'm Are you a carb free? I just try to avoid as much as possible, yeah. yeah. I can, I'll tell you about some of the other stuff after. Um, okay, so then there's a whole discussion about that. So, anyway, uh, yeah, no salt. I don't, I don't use salt. Um, but that has nothing to do with it. Um, September 22nd, MD Karen. September 22nd, 2014. Admi man admits role in 2011 Ipswich restaurant slaying. Oh, it was 2011 Young? he got killed? Could be. I guess. You know, Jeez, it didn't seem that this is what I think of places like this. Did they really wash all the blood off the walls and the floors? Oh, jeez, don't go there. <laughs> so when you go in there. Third pro. It, was, it happened in the men's room, I was told. Oh, all right. So you're all set. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah they opened it very quickly. This is very good. It took, a, it took a few days for it to get rolling again, but it, you know, nobody seems to mind too much. Their food is good. Uh, no, the little Chinese. <coughs> <laughs> we always eat it. Yes. That didn't stop us very much. <laughs> Not at all. Um, Bobby 212. Did the lady visiting Boston from. Come on, Bailey. Come on, on Bailey. Oh, good girl. There she good goes. Girl. Good girl. You need to go out? We're not getting I believe she does. You know what? She wants to kill two of these guys off the sofa. Okay. <laughs> yeah. She was just looking at the chaos. chaos is like, no way. Yeah, you're not coming? Go ahead, baby. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead. Come on. Talking about bullying, I mean, you know, yeah. this is 
The flag of form. Look how peaceful they are. But she's still are. holding up her own, though. <laughs> yeah, look her own man. <laughs> She can still growl with the best of them. Well. Yeah, she just she just raises her lip a little bit. They they move. Yeah. She probably, if we left her alone and not said anything to her, she probably could have gotten this one to move. That's just staring at her. Uh, I think she's working on it just little by little. Could be. Yeah. Well, that was why that video in the condo a few months back, the chaos one on the other side, like that was a real study of. Who was it, Wanda? <laughs> It was Wanda that chased them all around, though, wasn't it? Yes, and Chaos did come over and get Bentley out. Yes. Chaos, we're talking about you. I'm not moving, I don't care. <laughs> all right. Did the lady visiting Boston from North Dakota contact you for a visit? No. No. Okay. I don't know. No, she um, didn't call. Tell Maggie to call if she wants to come. I had 75 calls today. How do I remember? Do you remember mm. Maggie saying, visiting with her mother? Who's Maggie? See? <laughs> <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> okay, moving on. Colleen, so it's not electronics and it's not the bee. Do you have any theories as to what's making Bentley so weird? I think it is a flying noise, a buzzing noise that he's associating with the elevator. Yeah. I had no idea. All of a sudden, he came down. Yeah, really? yeah, but it's, yeah. it's, it's far more violent reaction than it would ordinarily be for just a bee or a fly. So I think it must be making the same noises. Somehow he's associating it. Because yeah. he's terrified. Well, we oh, get electrocuted. Yeah. <coughs> well, no, I'm just going to remember. Doesn't it go. <coughs> yes, it does. Yeah. There's a when zapping. He was shaking, what? When he was shaking down at the tent. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Really? Huh. Yeah. Have you seen the video? I'll show you after. I'll show you the video afterwards. Yeah, it's nasty. <coughs> um, um, in regard to purple, if you remember this tune, one horn. Oh, I remember that. Yep. One horn, one eyed, flying purple people eater. One horn, one eyed, <sighs> flying purple people. You can't come up with a song that he hasn't. Uh, you don't remember that song? I do remember it, but I can't remember the words. Do you guess I don't remember the words? Pretty close to around the same time as Little Nash Rambler. You know that yeah. Little Nash Rambler. Little Nash Rambler. Beep, beep. 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 That was your best. That was your best. They even try things. They're right. Make a noise and she yells. Okay. Okay. If you can't yell at her, stop because she can't hear you. She can hear Grace. Right. Yes, we are showing our ranges with that one. Absolutely. You sometimes, sometimes you can. Yep. Just like that. <laughs> Airedale Mama, blown away. Irish terrorist with the bridges. Tommy Lee, Tommy Lee Jones and Fugitive. So the, Tommy Lee Jones wasn't in Blown Away, apparently. He wasn't? Oh, well, what was the one at Harvard Square with it? Oh, God. Anyone know the one at Harvard Square with well, the chicken? Why was I the one of the chickens at Harvard Square? At 4 o'clock in the morning, too. So I had to go over the Mystic Tobin Bridge at 4 o'clock in the morning with these 15 roosters in the truck. It was fun. That's one of the days I decided maybe to give it up. Uh, and it was it was snowing out. It was horrible. The snow was all horrible colors. So they had hired a snowmaker to blow snow so it'd be clean. So here we are in a blizzard with the snowblower going, arguing about a bunch of roosters. It was wild. That's what I did for a while. For thirty years, I did that stuff. It explains a lot. Anyway. <laughs> What the hell was that? <coughs> what? Wow. I'm trying to. It's bad. I can't think of that. Can somebody Google who was Tommy Lee Jones's roommate in Harvard? I can't Gore. remember. It was somebody Gore. famous. Gore. 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 Al Gore. Thank you. Al Gore. Thank you. He wasn't in the movie. No. He was his roommate. <laughs> yeah. He could have been. Yeah. Well, maybe. Yeah. He could have been. All right. Um, 
Carlene played cards with Cher and another lady star. And oh, it wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't cards. It was Cokeberry sits on the old gum tree. Very, very king of the sea. Was Cher? Cokeberry laughs. Cokeberry gave your life was she. Yeah. See, I know Cher. With Cher? Yeah. You mean like you did that with Cher? Did you know who she was? No. <laughs> <laughs> there was, uh, but it, there was more to that story too. There was another one, Meredith. Well, there were three of them. Well, they. Uh, the witches, witches of Eastwick. Eastwick. No, no. Witches, there was Witches of Eastwick. Gravity is saying Susan Sarandon and or Michelle Pfeiffer. That was Michelle. Okay, well, whatever. So it was Cher, and then somebody else, one of the other two. And then we were going to try. The, the thing was, there were triplets in that movie. There were little kids. And they were funny stuff, but you had to keep the kids entertained between shots. And so we were trying to think of something to do with them, like kid counselors. And so we started that cookberry thing. And then we decided to see who could get them done, who could get it done fastest. And so the other one, Sharon and I, whoever the other one was, we go along like that. But Sharon won because she did a double beat. Uh, she was double, you know. Well, she has the music. Well, she background. had the music so background blown she, away. You know the big, the big where the boat blows up in Boston Harbor. Yes. That was done with three gallons of gasoline. That's it. They do that in the farm. No. That's not going to make any difference to me. I'm not going to nervous. <laughs> See, all I have to do is touch one of these things. <laughs> that is not how they do. Yeah, let's please. <laughs> Technology is far away. away from her. <laughs> I just picked it up. You have the touch. I you? have the touch. You have the touch. All right. How does chaos react when someone says Paul or Erlene? No, don't. 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 Nothing. Okay. Um, all right. Um, I'm so far behind here. I, uh, we don't have. Have we got anything for supper? Well, that and the cake will do it, right? What yeah. else do we need? There are some other things in there, like shells or something from Costco. I don't know how old they are. But... Oh. Well, they may be only two days. Grace buys stuff, too, besides being so. We can look at it. There's a whole bunch of stuff. There was chicken. There was barbecue chicken. No. You just check the dates on them. Because I, I didn't buy them, so I don't know. There's yogurt. We're having a Marie Antoinette supper. Let him eat cake. Right? There you go. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Jane Sladen, Judy Dench came to Halifax and was in a store here and was very upset when the assistant did not know who she was. So she asked, did you ever see chocolate? Ch chocolate? And, and, he, and she said, what the hell is that? <laughs> Instant deflation. That was a good movie. That was a very good movie. The whole thing, that, goes, that joke goes right over me because I don't understand. I don't go to movies. Um, um, it's a phone. Someone asked what the device is that you're watching, and it's a phone. That's okay, because they, they were surprised at the size of the screen. So It's a large phone. Okay. Uh, Barb Heiss. Um, Did they, nobody came up with that movie in Harvard Square? I don't know if it's... I'm, I'm, let me catch up. Rumors of Betty White death have been greatly exaggerated many times. Are you still considering keeping Gretchen for a breeder? Well, we're considering keeping Gretchen. More as a house dog. Right? I like Gretchen. She's a good dog. She's a very good dog. She's full of Grace loves her. Grace loves her. Are there any dogs that go through I know. Well, she took care of this. this was she took sick. really good care of Gretchen, though. Yeah, she really. No, before the blow. Yeah. Okay, she was sick early on. Yeah. She was sick early on. I forgot why. Yeah. She had the cold thing. Grace has saved her a couple of times, I think. This is Oh, Grace? Who are we talking about? No, Grace is not old either. That would be rude. That would be rude. I'm talking about 
about the dog? No, this is one of the 31 pups. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Seven months old? We had, a, we had a disease go through here pretty good. I heard about that. And, and we were dripping, you know, with the, the dripping stuff. Everybody got that? No, but the sick ones did. Yeah. If, they have, if they have diarrhea and vomiting for a couple for a day, you know, you begin to worry about dehydration. Honor Bound. Honor Bound is the name of the movie. Honor Bound. That sounds good. Good. Put Honor Bound in there and see who the guy is then. I will. Honor Bound. Honor Bound. I remember huh? that one. The last week. Okay. Not this. Who starred in the Honor Bound? Isn't it scary that you can talk to a phone and find... <coughs> he talks to his family. I'm trying to find out. Here's My something. wife does it. When she, when she talks to the phone, she talks really loud. Like, <laughs> I hope I'm no, you're fine. This is a US sergeant. This is a weapon. While you're looking that up, um, Barb Heist, I've been told many times that when I sing, it's, it's only important to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. In other words, I never had a solo. <laughs> I'm with you, Barb. I'm with you. All right. In other words, no Tough noogies for everyone else. Okay. Um, Marilyn, I can't hum off key. I, if I want to take a shower without four eyes staring, staring at me, all I have to do is start singing and they both leave. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, <clears throat> that's not the name of it? That's the name of it. No, 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 it is, but I mean, I'm looking for several different. There was one in 1928. That's not me. Yeah, it's a little bit far. There's one in 1988, but that had some pretty obscure. That's a obscure. That's new. I don't know. That'd be it, wouldn't it? 88, sure. Everyone's cheering for uh, Bailey on the couch. Oh, good. <laughs> Tommy. Tom Skerritt. Who? Tom Skerritt. Skerritt? No, I don't know that name at all. He was in... Um, he was in Top Gun. Top Gun, and he was in... Um, what's what's the... the no, chick flick with... Oh, I've heard that Yeah, name. Fried Green Tomatoes. Oh, yeah. He was in oh, no, was it that one? No, it wasn't Fried Green Tomatoes. It, it was, was Julie Roberts one. He was, it was, he was her father. Yeah. yeah. Um, Steel Magnolias. Steel Magnolias. Steel yeah. Magnolias. That's what it was. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did she tell you yet? Actor, director, writer. Actors. Yeah, don't give it to me. <laughs> I'm going to hold it. <laughs> Let me put it back on. Okay, quick one. No, that's not him. Who was that? But that's that the director or something? Yeah, well, no, he was, a, he was in the movie. No, it's that one. It's not the name. Is there going to be a new letter soon? Any news on November? No, we don't know yet. We, don't, uh, she, we think she's pregnant. She's acting... Yeah, she already went through all her. She she throws up if you have lamb cooking lamb in the house. That's true. Exactly. She had morning sickness. Um, Noel is weird. So who the hell is? There? Will it be another couple. Why can't we find that name? Looking. There's one that's Someone will find it. There's what? George. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. George Zunda. No? Oh, Where are you going? Well, you're not falling off, are you? We got John Philbin, Gabriel. But she wants to turn around. Punky from New York wants to know if the movies that you worked on listed you in the credits at the end. They did. Did they? Well, they listened to them. As animal episodes? Animal episodes. Okay. Come on, man. Come on, 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 She heard for What the? <laughs> seven, seven months? Seven months. You know what was a shocker? When when we when Laura and I took her to the vet and they asked us, how much do you think she weighs? And we were like, I don't know, 65, 70, 75 pounds. Mm -hmm. They put her on the scale, she was 92 pounds. Really? 92 pounds. Yeah. 
Nine she was she out of labor. She wasn't one. She didn't then either, but she was 92 pounds. That's heavy dog. Well, that's, yeah. that's what I like, the heavy she's bone. Solid, yeah. She does. She has the you know, got the big, legs. heavy bone. Yeah. yeah. Thick legs. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> um, Tom Selleck? No. Yeah, good. Okay, for that movie, I'm um, the director. Not director. And the cast is John Philbin, Gabriel, Gabriel Lazier, Tom Skerritt, George Zunza. Zunza. It was the big Preston. guy. It was the main guy. Well, I, I think they usually go in order. It must have been Tom Skerritt. Yeah. Yeah. It must have been. It was probably made <laughs> Oh, is that right? Yeah, I think that one. That was his hot time? He was in some TV stuff too. He wasn't in a lot of shows. Macaroni and cheese. We got the salad. We got a little up. Yeah. We got the salad with it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Everybody, everybody's having some here. This is enough fried chicken and macaroni and cheese, yes. Woo. There you go. How about that? <laughs> um, What's this? Well, oh, that's right. You're going for the fish league. He actually was in a movie that he was in a river runs through it. Well, that's right. Yes, that's right. He was in a river runs through it. Excellent movie. Uh, based on, based on It's a true story based on, um, oh gosh, what was his name? Um, I know we should know his name. He's a writer, but he was he was the father. He was supposed to be a minister yeah. in the movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. Norman McLean. Norman McLean. I read the book. I've seen the movie about ten Everybody's times. I love it. I can't hear a damn thing. I love it. Yeah, I've never seen it in the world. The last, really? oh, the last movie oh. I did was directed by Make My Day, Clint Eastwood. Well, it wasn't Make My Day. It was um, it would, would have been one of the Dirty Harry movies. No, I mean, the movie, I forgot the name of the movie, but it, the guy was the one who said, make my day. Right, that was Clint Okay. I mean, there was one I have no, I have no idea. I only did the part with the pigeons and the trees. That would have been, I mean, what did it do? He was in, it was in the Yes, no. It could have been, I don't know. It, it was, you know. Dirty Harry, Magnum Force. Um... No, last river. 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 Something about a river. A well, river runs through it. No. 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 Oh, from. Uh, oh, Mystic River. Mystic River. Mystic River. I mentioned Mystic River. Mystic River. Okay. No. I don't think she wants to. I was gonna say, there's nothing else I can do, babe. She doesn't know what she wants. Right? That's it. Um. And Michelle Mitchell says, "Don't forget, they're coming to take me away about the same time. They're coming to take me away. Ha ha. They're coming to take me away. Ha ha." The happy farm, the life is good. Everyone, we coming to take me away. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I believe scary. it. About the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't touch. Don't touch. Not even about the same time. Uh, no, no, no. I, 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 is that is that the one with Clint Eastwood? No. This is yeah, the, oh, this the Harvard River. Back, back to the yeah, Jerry, look at Mystic River. What did you do with Mystic <coughs> River? I think that's the one with Clint Eastwood. That was a great pigeons. movie. What did you do? Like, what'd you do? Well, they had to make pigeons fly in front of the camera or, you know. There's a, there's a link here that I'm not going to click because I don't want to get off the page, but Bobbity says, Carlene is listed as a pig, a pig wrangler in this movie. Does she remember it? Oh, yeah. I'll tell you. Wait a minute. Another opposite sex. The opposite sex and how to live with them. Well, how about that? Yeah. Really? It was, it was, really, it was, a, oh, it was, that's chasing pigs down Storo Drive. <laughs> oh, my God. You want to hear about that one? I can tell you about that one. Yeah, I would like to hear that because the traffic is probably still tied up from it. Probably, no, it is. <laughs> but the pig, the pig deal was they wanted, they wanted, uh, they had a ballpark set up and they wanted guys playing baseball in baseball hats. And they wanted to flash immediately to pigs in baseball hats in the same position as these guys. And that's the shot that they were calling for. So 
So I said, great, let's do the shot with the pigs first and then put the guys where the pigs were. And the guy said, no. And can you imagine the mess I had for hours <laughs> trying to get, make those goddamn pigs stand where the guys had been? And they had T-shirts on, too. The pigs or the guys? The pigs. The pigs. T-shirts okay. and hats. And they kept, they kept it, was in a, it was in a ballparking sort of deal, but they kept kind of getting out. And I have a marvelous mental image of Janine trying to outrun a pig that's parallel to Storo Drive. And there's a Chinese man in a hat with a briefcase that's running along the other side of the pig. And that is a, a burned into my bed. And he's trotting along with the pig. <laughs> the two of them are chasing the pig. Which, you know, it was stupid that they couldn't do it, you know, et cetera. That's funny. <laughs> um, 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 okay. What one? Gretchen's birthday is my birthday. Oh. Wow. Are you having fun with The pest says, <laughs> with, with a question mark, <laughs> goodbye Columbus. Would that be one? No, I don't remember that one. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Um, do you remember who Paul Newman was? And if she ran into him, did she ever meet him? I, I know who Paul Newman is. I don't know whether I worked with him or not. I don't remember it. Um, and Bright Eye says, Noelle might be weird, but she makes beautiful pups. <coughs> That's true. She does. Jody from Maryland says, Joe Pesci and... Joe oh, Pesci! Oh, Jody from Maryland says the movie was with honors. And and Jody, oh, and then she says... Right. Joe Pesci and Joe Pesci. Brent, Brendan Fraser. Yeah, Joe Pesci. Yeah, that's Joe Pesci. That's where he was like a, a bum that went to the, ended up going to Harvard. He lived in his van or something. I, I see. I didn't do that part. I only did part with the Rooster. Well, that would make sense. And I think I must have done a couple in Harvard Square, and I think that was the one where they had the snow blowing and the blizzard, which really blew my door. Yeah, but and I done a couple. I done a couple in Harvard Square, so it could be. Um, yeah, Mystic River, we got. You want to get in there? Go ahead, get up there. Airedale Mama says two of her Airedales had a mama that weighed 95 pounds. That's a lot for an Airedale. Wow. Um, a lot of people say, I got a 200 pound Great Dane. You got a fat Great Dane. Yeah. <laughs> you got a great day that's going to have hip displays for about 20 minutes. He wasn't that heavy, but he was a large They get big. I'm trying to keep him down a little bit. I mean, Bentley's not that tall. He's a football player. Yeah. How long have we been at this? Isn't it time we quit? In a minute. Um, Bobby, Bobby says, um, if Carlene wants to see her filmography, she can search imdb.com for her name and or animal episodes. And I just brought it up. And really? Let's, let's look it up. Animal. As long as I wrote the check, I really didn't pay any attention to that stuff. Animal episodes. Results from animal episodes. Yeah, no, it's an animal episode. Let's try that. Because that made everything on this property deductible. All you had to do was use it in the movie ones. Everything. I could buy the damnedest thing and use it in some film or another, and it was deductible. Carlene White, The Opposite Sex and How to Live with Them, 1992. There you go. Carlene White. Oh, Charlene White. That's not it. That's not it. Well, somebody could have got that wrong. I was, I was in New England. I mean, really. Yeah, that's the only one that's listed here. You're I famous. Yes, I, Notorious is another one. But. <laughs> um, no, Mama okay, says, not fat in any way. She was... She was an Oorang Airedale bred to take down deer and, and bear in the Midwest. Oh, wow. An Oorang Airedale. Wow. I'm going to have to look that up. That's great. She must be a huge dog. Hmm? 
Sort of. <laughs> and a lot of muscle and smart. That's great. All right. Yeah, we, we've gone on for a while here. I don't you know. have gone on for a very long time. I really need some cake. Yeah. <laughs> I think we ought to do that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'm all for it. Great. Yeah, that I, where I'm you? a fried clam connoisseur. And there's a, Is that, there's where do you tell him? Clam box. Clam box. Yeah, they're great. He doesn't like clam. I'll get the clam too. No, I don't like that. I just don't want to put them on the whole food. No, try it. Shrimp. They have great scallops. Scallops, yeah. Shrimp. Yeah. Right. Okay, so as you're going down the road here, uh, and you pass a school, and then kind of wake up a little bit, you know, and there is a mile mile lane road on your left. If you hit it, fine, take it, because they're at the other end. If you don't do that, then you're going to hit Route 1A and go north. Okay. But, well, thank you. But mile lane, literally, when before you get to the end, before you get to the end, the parking lot's right there on the left. And they're probably they're probably still. There. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah. Can we bring you back anything? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. No. <laughs> no, we're, all, we're set. We're good. We apparently got thank food, I guess. Yeah, we're good. Well, thank you. Thank you for letting us join. Okay. Well, you. You're, yeah. You'll be around tomorrow? Yeah. Well, yeah. we're coming back. We're going to hopefully, you said we might be able to go out with the train. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Remind me that tomorrow morning. What time do you want us to come in? Huh? What time do you want us to come in? Sorry. I can't hear. What time do you want us to come in? Well, 7 o'clock on. What do you guys think? We're staying at the bread and breakfast. Kate, I don't know if you want to. Kate, 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 Kate,